Hi everyone, it's Jamie Scrap and Stampers and I have a couple of projects to share with you today and um, also I wanted to let you know that I will be carrying the Halloween 2013 release for La La Land Crafts and the release date is on September 16th so I will have those listed in the shop um, but they are shipping to me on September 16th so I won't get them um, for a few days after so if you place your order um, it will take a little bit longer than usual um, usually I ship out the same day or the next day so this might take a little bit longer to get your shipment from me but um, so just a heads up on that um, there they are coming out with four really cute Halloween characters three girl stamps and um, one boy so three Marcy's and one Luca and they are so adorable guys you are gonna love them so um, come and visit the shop on the 13th and check that out um, also I wanted to share a project that I made um, this is a stick pin cushion um, holder and it's made from a tuna can and I got my inspiration from Lydia I triple dog dare you on YouTube and thank you Lydia for showing this um, I've been using tuna cans like every day and I would have never have known to like just save them and make something like beautiful out of it um, because my dog's been sick um, I was feeding her tuna to um, entice her to eat her food so I was just like going through tuna cans <laughs> so thank you Lydia for showing this um, my dog is doing better guys um, she got her bandage off um, her skin does not look pretty underneath it, but she feels good and it's healing, so that's good news. Um, so this is made from the tuna can. I um, wrapped it around with the um, collection from Prima um, Romance Novel. Um, I put some on the bottom. I put these little bubbles, um, glass bubbles, on the bottom for to give it some height so that when it sits, this trim is um, laying nicely there. And um, this is um, some trim from Hobby Lobby. And the trim on the top is from Nat's store, My Paper Passion. And so is so are these flat back pearls. Um, so I just put that all the way around. And then on the top, um, I have some, you know, like pillow filler. And um, it's just scrunched in a ball um, with the fabric and tied on the bottom with a rubber band. And then I just stick it in here and then glued it in. So this is where I'm going to store my um, stick pins. So when I make them, you know, I could just have them here. It looks pretty. So I cut out these little tickets from the collection as well. And then I have a beautiful cluster of flowers. All these flowers are available in my shop. Um, these are the two-tone leaves. I have a, um, a tea rose here. They look like this. Really, really pretty flower. And then, um, let's see if I could get this focused a little bit better. There we go. And then these are the chrysanthemums. Really pretty. And they look like this. I sell these in a pack um, of mixed colors um, with the pink and the orange. Or I have also purple and um, purple and orange and then I have some sweetheart blossoms these are really pretty white ones on here and those look like this really cute and then I have these little um, rosebuds the really really small um, tight rosebuds and those look like this and they come in a pack of 10 really pretty and then I have one of the little 10 millimeter roses so you can find all those um, flowers in my shop and I what I did here is I just tucked a little um, wood veneer key and made a little bow and tucked it underneath the arrangement so I think it came out really really cute and I made up some um, flower packs using some of the flowers um, a special price for $3.99 so you're gonna get a pack of uh, five of the orange five of the pink um, five of the blue tone and 
five of these gardenias and I have one in the purple the blue the orange and the yellow so I only have four of those and they're going for $3.99 so those are listed in the shop under the section flowers and then I wanted to share another card that I made with um, the sitting stamp from Little Blue Buttons. So I made a new card using her, and this is the old one that I showed in the other video. It's just a, a very pretty, pretty stamp. And this is a digi image, and I'll have um, the link down below where you can purchase that digi image. And that's from llbstamps.com. And here's the other card that I made, um, and this is um, some Prima paper. I forgot what collection that's from. I can't think of it at the top of my head right now, but um, if you want to know, just leave me a comment and I will look that up for you. And I have some pearl bling on there, a little ticket, and some more pearls, and I colored her um, with Copics. Um, the whole image this time is with Copics. And she's got um, some tan and some pink. And I did her boots in dark brown. And these flowers you can get in my shop as well. These are the wild flowers. Um, they come in white and I sprayed these with um, Lindy Stamp Gang um, to create that color. And then I have some twine here and a little, um, a little um, brooch peeking out. And then this beautiful trim is from Nat Store, my paper passion. And um, I just love that trim, it's so pretty. I think she has that one in blue too. So I'll have her link down below as well. And then um, I used the corrugated cardboard base again for my card. So I hope you uh, guys like the projects. And I um, hope you guys are having a great week. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.